science hey how's it going everybody this is the jetson bolt which is one of the cheapest e-bikes on the market definitely the cheapest 19 mile an hour e-bike with a throttle this bike clocks in at 299 dollars from costco it has a 250 watt hub motor good for 19 miles an hour if you adjust it in the settings you'll see that this bike online is advertised as a 16 mile an hour bike but if you go to the app the Jetson app on your phone, you can actually adjust it. Most people don't know that you can unlock 19 miles an hour on this bike, which is fantastic for a bike under $700, honestly. So it's pretty much a steal at $300, especially since it comes with a crap ton of features, which I'm gonna go over right now. This e-bike has maybe the most quality miniature kickstand I've ever seen on a bicycle. It's not just a little metal stick, it's like almost a motorcycle-like kickstand, but it's so small. I mean, my hand is longer than it. And it comes with also the smallest little cute disc brake I've ever seen. And it, it's way more brake than this bike needed. Um, I have had people actually hop on this bike, slam the brake, and it has slid out from under them and they've face planted basically. So kind of a dangerous bike if you don't know that this will definitely slide out from under you. So I don't know why they put a disc brake on a bike that weighs 35 pounds, but they did it anyway for stopping power. <laughs> so it does have some fenders. You also put your feet on pegs instead of pedals, which is how they kept the cost down. They don't have to do the whole chain assembly with the sprocket and whatnot. This also comes with, that's how you turn it on, is this little button right here. And then you go, where's the switch? Where's the switch? The light. It has its own headlight. So getting a little closer to the bike here, it does have a cruise control button, which I've never seen on an e-bicycle before, which is really nice because then you don't have to you know, hold this if you're traveling long distances. Just boom, and it'll just hold the speed for you. It does have the manliest bell of all time. Now, something I have to note here is I did replace the seat right here. This is a really nice Cloud 9 seat from a bicycle shop. It's about 35 bucks, super soft. I recommend it if anyone's gonna pick up this Jetson bike. Uh, the reason I switched it out, the one that it comes with is super, super tiny, very flimsy. You fall all over it, especially if you're, you know, not a child riding this little bike. So yeah, kind of a cheap seat, but what do you expect for, you know, 300 bucks? I mean, even the wheels, as you can see, are plastic wheels. All right, so the way the bike folds up is this little lever right here. So you just unclip that, and as you can see, it folds in on itself, and just pick it up, however, and it just goes right in. You can clear a trunk. I haven't really come across too many trunks that can't fit the Jetson, so that is a really, really cool feature. Smaller than most bicycles. And it's just as easy to get back in. Just grab it from its frame. Set up shop right here, and then it just kind of swings up, right, like that, and then pop it into place, and then you're off. <laughs> so about how this bike rides, this is actually one of the more fun e-bikes I've ridden. I've ridden all the way up to, you know, the $2,000 Super 73, and those are a ton of fun, but for $2,000, you start getting into motorcycle territory, and I know those, that's not a fair comparison. E-bike people are not also motorcycle people for the most part. It's a different application. You can go on the sidewalk with this. You don't need license, registration, motorcycle license. It's, it's a whole, you know, goings on getting a motorcycle. This is much easier, and it's really, you know, it's pretty lovely going on, like, the beach and sidewalks and the, the boardwalk, and nobody cares, especially on something this small. So the fact that it's this small and foldable, I'll show you guys the, fold, the folding aspect in a minute, the fact that it's this small, no one cares where it goes. I, I go into, you know, if I have to get an oil change for the car, I just go ahead and, you know, roll it. I'll, I'll take this Jetson somewhere to eat, and then, you know, I just bring it right in the shop wherever I am because it's just so small. So the convenience aspect of it, the fact that it fits in mostly any car trunk that I've seen, I haven't seen any trunks that this can't go in, it, the convenience aspect is just, you know, it's through the roof, off the charts. So honestly, this is one of the most practical e-bikes I've come across so far. So if you're trying to get into e-bikes, it's, it's a winner, super, super winner. So that's all I got to say, really. Yeah, I hope you guys like the review and I'll be talking to you guys next time. See ya. Oh, Jesus. That's how to get Desi 101. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.
haven't been dizzy like that since teacup rides at, at Knott's and Disney. That's what I do for my audience. 